Fortunately, there's not much in the way of precedent for a situation like this, but there is a real feeling tonight that the attempted assassination of former President Trump and those powerful images taken in the aftermath could help galvanize his base and potentially prove politically meaningful. I think he's going to use this uh, to his benefit. Will you know Republicans take advantage of that? That's that's the big question, I think. Steve Bergstrom is as familiar as anyone with the local effort to get former President Donald Trump back to the White House. To be shot at, to stand up, and to tell Americans to continue to fight for America, for what we believe in, I, I thought it was inspiring. Bergstrom is the former chair of the Wake County GOP and believes former President Trump already had the inside track to the Oval Office before Sunday's shooting. The response to that shooting has been more confident than ever. There's a lot of time between now and November, but we see the dichotomy, the differences between the two campaigns. Sandy Joyner and Donna Williams help lead the Western Wake Republican Club. I'm very confident, especially after yesterday. I'm, I'm super, I was confident already, and now I'm really confident. They're also in Milwaukee this week and say energy at the convention is already high and supporters of the former president are re-energized. I can't even begin to put my finger on the, the pulse of how what the excitement's going to be and what the determination is going to be to help get that man elected in November. But that election still several months away. Political science professor Stephen Green says it's too early to determine the potential impact of the attempted assassination come November. Amazing iconic images are amazing iconic images and sometimes change the world, but also don't necessarily win elections. Adding the reaction of those coveted undecided voters will matter most. Historically, we know that sympathy, you know, perhaps increased popularity um, can really work for politicians. On the other hand, my, my question is, you know, whose mind does this change? On the eve of the Republican National Convention, it's a moment scholars say will be studied for generations to come. I really think this is one of those moments. and We still don't know what the reverberations are going to be, but they will absolutely go down in history as a, as a key moment in, in American politics. Former President Trump is expected to make a full recovery. He just landed in Milwaukee tonight to attend the Republican National Convention as planned. Green says he'll be paying attention to the tack the former president decides to take in his first public appearance and remarks since the shooting and how he opts to use that moment potentially in his campaign moving forward. In Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.